Welcome to eDNA Tech. In the previous video, we interfaced this 4 cross 4 matrix keypad. Let us see how the scanning algorithm works. So, the keypad looks like this. These are the switches that connected in a fashion that to make a input to the microcontroller or microprocessor. So, these switches are arranged in a manner like 4 cross 4 that way it is called as 4 cross 4 matrix keypad so all the switches are interconnected so it has some function to how to get a input from the keypad that is called a keypad scanning algorithm let us see how this keypad works in a detailed manner so here you can see this is the internal structure of keypad these are the switches that are connected internally between the rows and columns so this is the first row second row third row and fourth row and these are the columns that we connected so every switch is interconnected between the rows and columns so i am named as 1 2 3 up to 16 so let us see how it works and how we can connect with the microcontroller so you should first either connect either a row or column as a input or output so in this i am going to connect a row to a input of row and output as column so you should use any of this row or column as a input or output so i am using row as my input and output as my column so the next thing we should do is either connect this column or row to either a pull up mode or pull down mode what is pull up mode or pull down mode is nothing but if a 5 volt supply is given this is a pin consider this is as a pin any of this pin this is the resistor if the micro -O controller read this pin as a input then it will read it as 5 volt always if it is connected to a ground then if you read this pin then the microcontroller will show a 0 volt that means logical 0 and logical 1 so this is the difference between pull up mode or pull down mode pull up mode is nothing but you are going to pull up to a maximum voltage that means that pin is connected to a high supply 5 volt or supplies the pull down mode is nothing but you are going to connect to a lower voltage that means a ground a zero volt so if you read that pin it will show a zero volt in the microcontroller so we are going to make this pin as pull down mode so we are using a resistor and connecting it to the ground so this pin also you are going to use the resistor and connecting this pin as ground so make all the pins to a ground so all the column pins can be used as a zero volt if you read this pin so now we are going to read this pin so we can interchange this use it as a output and row as a input so we are going to make this column pin to read with the help of microcontroller consider a microcontroller any microcontroller or microprocessor so connect this column pins with a microcontroller and row pins with a microcontroller so now initially read a micro with the help of microcontroller read these column values so initially it will be 0 0 0 0 so all the column bits will be initially 0 so when any one of the row is 1 let me consider row 1 we are giving a value of 1 that means we are making this 5 volt and these are all 0 so 
next read these column pins then if we the switch is not pressed then the column pin has a value of 0 0 0 only if the switch is pressed now make a switch 2 2 press if we press the switch then it will become short circuit then this 5 volt will be flow through this column line and it, it will be it will be drained at this ground so if you read this C2 pin the value will be 1 so this makes the connection through short circuit that means if you are going to give a 5 volt through this row line all the row lines are interconnected so you can see 5 volt in all these row pins either the column pin only changes so if the switch is pressed then this column gets interconnected and the 5 volt flows through this column and it will be drained at this end so the column pin C2 will be as a value of 0 1 0 0 so if you read this pin as so if this read this value then you have pressed a row 1 and second pin row 1 second pin so that means you are going to press the second switch so if you are going to press the third switch then the value will be at 1 and all the pins are 0 so C3 will be a value of 1 this will get a short circuit and this all become an open circuit and this will become a short circuit and the value will be obtained here C3 will have a logical I so that means you are going to press a third switch of the first row so how this scanning algorithm works means in the meanwhile the human has a very slow rate because if you press the switch and then it should read at a fast rate so the microcontrollers can be read very fast so if you apply a line like for loop then it will perform in a microseconds so you can achieve it easily with the help of for loop so why I use for loop is nothing but first you should need to make the row pin individually I like first you want to make a row pin 1 2 I then make all the row pins 0 then you should check for the switches are pressed if you read a column pin of value high then the row pin first and the column which column is pressed you can be identified so by reading the row pins in an alternate manner like you the next step if you are going to press a 11th switch first you should send first row, row 1 as a high then you will read 0 0 0 then you should send a row 2 to i then you should re you can read 0 0 0 that means no switch is pressed here no switch is pressed in the row 1 also then you should make a row 3 as 1 then you can read a value of 1 at uh, c3 that means the column 3 what is the switch that is attached to c3 and row 3 will be the switch that is pressed that means the 11 so you can make a for loop to identify which row and which column are pressed so by this scanning algorithm this is scanning here bit by row by row so first we are going to send a row 1 next we are going to send row 2 that means we are going to scan every row by alternate manner the constant is C2 C3 is columns so you are going to read by columns and you are going to send input to the rows so this is a basic keypad algorithm all the keypads works on the basis of this algorithms one will be a input one will be output so they will be used either a pull up mode or pull down mode so you cannot leave as it is because every pin as you cannot float the values in between 0 to 5 volt then it will be the yeah different values so you either make it as a pull up mode or pull down mode if you cannot can't connect these lines then you will read a yeah, noise value that means either 3 volt is approximately equal to 5 volt in a logical state so it will read 1 
if you cannot press if you didn't press the switch of either a 6 or 7 8 so don't leave the column pins or row pins as it is if you are going to use a column pin as a input to read then make it as a either a pull up mode or pull down mode so by this scanning algorithm you can perform a value that can get a input through the microcontroller so you can use any of the microcontroller to obtain these values the only way is to connect this and scan these keys only you can alternatively send rows in a one manner that means you are going to make a variable of row and you are going to shift a one bit by each so make a for loop for loop can start from zero so first you send a zero 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 one then you send a zero zero one zero next zero one zero zero next one zero 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 so use a for loop to send these values in an alternate manner then you can obtain which and you should read by the way you should read the column pin also when you are sending a 0001 then read the column pin then send this and read the column pins when you get a value of one in either of these column pin then you obtain which key is pressed and make a assumption which key you are going to press so make a you can use any of the values that means if your tool is pressed then it has a have a value of a you can see in this image they have made a b c d and star zero hash so you can assume any values to the switch that is pressed so you can also use it as a four five six seven plus minus and you can assume any values depending upon the row and column which is pressed so this is the algorithm that is functioning inside your keypad so i have made a keypad algorithm video here and also i have interfaced the arduino uno which I can give you a link in either here or down or upwards so you can make use of this that video which I made to interface with the Arduino you know and you can use this program also I have not used any of the libraries I have built our own code so make use of that code and you can perform your interface and that's it about this video in the next video we have a similar kind of this thing but we are going to deal with the uh, LEDs that means we are going to deal with a dot matrix the dot matrix is also a similar way of function but slightly different let us see in the next video how the dot matrix functions so thank you for this moment.